Deleon Tequila. <laughs> Owned by a black man. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. about these wild parties. You know, there's like sex parties and it looks like, you know, there were probably other, lots of other things going on there too. But he was bragging about this for, what, a couple of decades. Watch. This is what you need to do. Um, women, beautiful women. We need um, alcohols. Right, mm. alcohols. Right, not just one alcohol. Alcohols. Right, just Florals. different blend. You need Blends. the ladies, you need the booze. Right, gotta right. keep them there. Right, you need, you need Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lots on it, and he's serious. It's sounding kind of dangerous now. It's a little kinky, but yeah. you know, mm -mm. yeah. Brian, that was creepy, but what took the feds so long wow. to do something? Hey, Laura, always great to be with you. Yeah, I think it's the, we're, we're, I'm in L.A., it's the Hollywood celebrity uh, path to justice where we simply look at a clip like that and we laugh and giggle about, oh, let's get alcohol, let's get drugs, let's get all these ladies at a party. You know, for years... P. Diddy's gotten a whole pass. He's, he's actually created his own kingdom where he makes his own rules and you got to follow his rules or you get penalized. And guess what, Laura? He's now in a federal penitentiary. Right. And for the first time in his life, he's facing the, his own fate at the hands of somebody else. And I will tell you, Laura, I've done federal cases that that's not the place you want to be in federal court. 90% mm. of federal criminal uh, indictments brought down are pled out, right? A plea deal is brought. And of the only 10% left, 90% of those defendants that go to trial, they lose. So he is looking at a daunting uphill battle to fight these horrible charges. Mm, 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 mm. Now, Brian, one of the... Um, he ain't, he ain't getting out. He ain't getting... Your only line of defense is that you came to New York to turn yourself in. And if you would have turned yourself in, you could have possibly bailed out. Okay, it's called the game of life. It's called whatever they do. I guess what you're going to go into the records to figure out the date and the time in which the judge signed off and issued the warrant and say you tried to turn yourself in before that. Sir, they don't want you back out here on the streets. You are a titan. You are being punished for everything you did on these earthly planes. And I did see that movie blink twice and your motherfucking ass has blinked four, five times how bad it is they say that you is. Uh, all these bruises, wiping people's minds away with perfumes, gifts, and potions, and lotions, and career success, any form of coercion you can think of. Involved in this raid on his Miami mansion, described what he saw inside the, the he house. He do look like liberal. In my opinion, he's as bad <laughs> as Epstein. These women are young, either barely legal or barely illegal. Mm. Uh, Brian. And they keep referring this to Epstein. If you go back to Little Rod's lawsuit, paragraph 28, the first complaint, okay, I believe what you, I believe you the first time. Little Rod's attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, pleaded in paragraph 28 of the initial complaint that he had irrefutable evidence, meaning evidence that cannot be denied. The only thing that can't be denied is your voice and your face in video format. That's it. It cannot be denied. It can't be questioned. Irrefutable evidence that Meek Mills, he didn't specifically name Meek Mills and Chris Brown, but if you do the math, a rapper that once dated Nicki Minaj, he dated Nicki Minaj and they broke it off in 2016. That's around the time he started hanging with Diddy. It's alleged that they broke up because he was dealing with underage people and doing some freaky gay stuff at these parties. That's the allegations. And we're waiting for Nicki to go ahead and directly say that instead of up there acting like she write riddles and shit. A lot of these niggas is going down. Chris Brown, Meek Mills, Jay Z, all of these people, this okay. Sounds for underage like kids, according to Little Rod's lawsuit, paragraph 28, the initial complaint. It's on video. The feds already got them videos from Little Rod, okay? So, with this second indictment that's going to happen Monday, we're going to then see co conspirators. 
Yeah, Laura, I will tell you that, 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 that this indictment was very detailed, by the way, too. Your viewers should know there were over 300 subpoenas served, over 50 witnesses interviewed. Why is that important? Because the federal prosecutors aren't going to be leveling an indictment like this unless they have ammunition and, and they have cause to bring it. And, and the, the core issue at this case, which the feds have to prove, which it's looking like they can, mm. is that P. Mm. Diddy essentially controlled these women, that he, he threatened them uh, with, with stopping the money that he was paying them, that he spiked their drinks with drugs, that's been alleged in the indictment, and that he basically told them, I'm going to ruin your life unless you engage in these freak offs. And that's really what mm. the prosecutors mm -hmm. got to prove. It's you crazy. Got some victims. And the thing is, it only takes one victim, one opportunity. Oh, I'm not I'm not a P word because I only did it one time in my life and that's it. No. Yes, you are forever. And ever, 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 you do it one time. Because all of that shit start mentally. And this is why, according to law, you can be considered a P word if it's a mental health issue. We want to vote Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz in the office. Well, Tim Waltz acknowledged that and made it protected under law that if somebody's considered a P word, thinking of, AKA thinking about children in the state of Minnesota, then they are a protected class of people. And look at his son. Anyways, yeah. That P word stuff started in the mind. If you do it once, you do it a million times. So when one victim come out, I'm going to act like you did it to a million other people, especially if you got money and power for over 30 years like P. Diddy. Coming forward to talk about that, you've got financial records that prove that, travel itinerary that proves that. P. Diddy has very little defense. And I got to tell you, Laura, if this guy wants very to fight little. these charges, he's, he's going to have to step up and walk into a courtroom and talk about it. If he doesn't testify in this case, he, he is dead on arrival. Pretty much. Well, who else is on these tapes? Pretty much. I mean, will the tapes ever see the light of day? And it only take one tape, one party. Nigga done said, meet me or Chris Brown. Hundreds of hours. Hundreds. Of, uh, Little Rod was around Diddy for over a year. You know he bumped into all of these different people. All these different parties. Jay-Z with them big ass soup coolers. I know he can suck him a meme, but I bet you with all that over there, he took up for R. Kelly like he was sucking him up too. Oh, Lord. And that's what everybody's talking about. Who else is there? It's like with the Epstein, um, you know, that you know his pleasure island. Who else? Who who went? Who was there? What's I'm the manifest? You. But Brian, chances one being least likely, ten being most likely. Will we learn of other celebrities that were at these freak offs? Mm, 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 mm. The sweet ma'am, don't sit up there and act like you ain't never been to a freak off either. You've been to, no matter big, small, broke, tall, and all, you done been the one. He done been the one. That's what I'm saying. Y'all sitting up here uh, 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 talking about Diddy, acting like they ain't got these same problems. Okay, even in corporate America, even in the smallest jobs, the non public jobs, some people have to sleep their way around in order to build a career. Look at Kamala Harris. Yeah, I, I think I think you've got an eight or a nine for a likelihood you're going to hear about it. Why? Because there are going to be more indictments coming down, Laura. That's an important Oof. point here because he's being charged with racketeering and conspiracy. You're going to have, well, let's start on the inner circle. You're going to have former bodyguards. You can possibly have uh, former uh, musicians that he was with. Uh, you've got personal assistants that are going to be, they're already talking about this. They're get, Some of those are likely Ugh. to be charged. And then guess what? If you've got some music moguls that are sending women over to these alleged yeah. freak offs, right. then you've got some top people mm -hmm. that are going to start crumbling too because that's they're all part right. of what's called right. this criminal... I want to know if any of the white people going to go down. I want to know. Because we've seen some names and then when you see some bullying, oh, we, Lil Rod lost, Lil Rod lost, so, oh, we got to remove the white people and the white owned businesses up out of here. That's what they did and just blamed it on Puffy. And now Lucy and Gree is him and his attorney. We going for sanctions to, to make sure this never happens again and stuff. Man, the white people did that shit too. Surprise. All right, Brian, always great to see you. Thank you so much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe. Listen, all I know, P. Diddy is in, is in, is in some doo-doo. He's in some doo-doo. Okay, he's in some doo-doo. We see so many people come out and speaking about it and speaking on him and stuff like that. Okay, and we're going to get to all of that. But P. Diddy is definitely, 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 definitely in some doo-doo. Okay, he might want to doo-doo. Got the shits and stuff because he having withdrawals off of that goddamn pink cocaine. Oh, Lord. Which is ketamine, coke. And Viagra at the same time, okay? Oh, no. Tusi. Talk to him.
Drugs with Jaguar. <laughs> Let's talk. Drugs <laughs> education. <laughs> one on one. So 2C is the cocaine, but they take the ketamine and cook it up. And they, they fold it into the cock. Now, if you don't know what ketamine is, ketamine is what they call on the street special K. It's a veterinary drug. It's a horse tranquilizer. Now, gay men have been using this for years. See, back in the day, if you went to a gay party or a gay rave, there were certain drugs that you will always find on hand. Viagra, XC, Special K, and cocaine. Now, see, the cocaine keep you up all night, but unfortunately, it gives you limp noodle because of what the blood flow is. So do you who wants to fuck with a half hard dick all night. So that's why you had the Viagra to make sure that the, the dick involuntarily stays hard while you're numbing your fucking self with the coke. Now see the ketamine, that's a horse tranquilizer. So that relaxes all your muscles. You could get fucked by 80 fucking um ton gorillas. You wouldn't feel a thing. So now your dick is going to stay hard. You numbed up. And you high, you got the ketamine in you, so you don't feel shit. And then you add the, the ecstasy to put in the feeling that you've now blocked out. And now you got a party. Freak off cocktail. Yeah. Damn. So now the two C, they done skipped. They done skipped all the steps. They condensed it. Wow. So you got the cocaine in there. And then you got the ketamine in there. And they say that some of the dealers add the ecstasy in there. Now, the Viagra, they st you still got to take that solo. Mm. But th with the tipsy, you got all of that. Within. The gay cocktail. Oh. Fuck off cocktail oh. in the one thing. And the reason why it's pink is because they put the food coloring in it. They think, um, he said he think they got it from the Breaking Bad. You remember yeah, how they was making the mess yeah, and they just... made it a special color. So they done that with the two C. Wow. It's, it's the food coloring. You think that. Like, As if you need more. When did high not get high enough? Like I'm trying to understand. Yeah. To the point where you have to fly it across. Like I need that here tonight. Can you get that here? Like no... I need that here. You got three drugs. <laughs> Powerful drugs. And food coloring. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Okay. You are numb. You are wired. You pop that that Viagra. You a fucking machine. You can't do anything. You can't do a brick wall wouldn't even feel it. <laughs> I'm sure there's footage of that. <laughs> they gonna get them records, them files to figure out what happened. Why was you paying Young Miami, who ain't put out no hit record, all of this money to do this, to do this? Why did you do business with Lori Harvey Management? What talent she got, and you dated her, and then your former CEO is not head of her company. What, what's going on here? I want to know all of this. Want me to tell you why? Because the more all of this stuff is exposed, the easier it is for real talent to shine bright. I bet P. Diddy, he's sitting there on a bunker with a little itty bitty dirty piece of blanket. You done went from millionaire, multi-millionaire, 200 and 2,000 thread sheets and everything to a little thin blanket. And you having night sweats. Yeah, you probably got hit up for them freakos, but we the black people. We don't fuck with you like that because we know you did Pocky and we know you did uh, uh, Biggie and we know what you did to Kim. And he having withdrawals right now. And everybody that he didn't kill, they coming back for his motherfucking ass. On the head, go. What's up, Crazy K? Remember me? Tracy? Yeah, man. What's up? How come we ain't talked in a long time? That's right. You killed my ass. Ain't that a bitch? I got one question for you, Crazy K. Why? Why? You, you, you was coming up short all the time, man. I, I, I couldn't just let you rip me off, nigga. No us. That shit was wrong, man. Just drove by and started blasting. 
That shit was wrong, man. We ain't even the ones that kept your homie. That shit was really wrong, G. Man, fuck you, nigga. It was your set to give all me little joke. Y'all motherfuckers would try to kill me if y'all had the chance. Then fuck you, nigga. Fuck y'all. I didn't do anything. I was playing in my room, and the bullet from your gun came through the wall. Uh, 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 a bullet ain't got no name on it. You, 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 you was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. Fuck up. Why should they, Jerome? Are they saying something you don't want to hear? So you gonna blame all this shit on me? Huh? You trying to make me crazy, this stuff, motherfucker? Huh? I don't hold no responsibilities for these motherfuckers. But you are responsible for the lives you've taken, for the dreams you've turned into nightmares. <laughs> nightmare? Motherfucker, what about my nightmare? What about the nightmare I lived in? Who is responsible for that? I don't know, Jerome. You tell me. Who is responsible? Your mother, your father, your teachers, the world. Who? Yeah, that's right. All of the motherfuckers they created. So now the motherfucking nightmare. The nightmare ends when you say it does, Jerome. You've got to take responsibility to wake up. You've got to take responsibility to break this chain. One motherfucker responsibility in this world. That's me, and that's it, motherfucker. So anybody and everything that ain't me, I shit. Do you understand that? That's a question best posed to yourself. I'm giving you a chance. I'm giving you a shot at redemption. Do you understand that? I don't give a fuck about none of these stupid motherfuckers. So what you do is stop fucking with my mind, man, and let me out this motherfucker. There's nothing to stop you, Jerome. Jerome! Shut the fuck up! Shut up! Let me about this motherfucker! I swear to God, I'll snap this bitch neck! Jerome, it's not too late to be saved! You won't get another chance! I don't need another motherfucker chance! You know why? Because I don't give a fuck! I said I don't give a fuck! 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 I don't give a fuck. 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 You don't give a fuck. You motherfucker. So did it get out? They gonna spray him. If he don't be like Epstein, they gonna get him. Okay, cause he in there running that beat. Jay Z, the big soup coolers, everybody going down. That's Diddy all day. All them spirits and souls need to ride him. This right here is the ancestors and everybody he done did wrong coming back to get him. I even seen um, Salone Bella. She was talking about Kim Porter saying that Kim Porter is still on the earthly planes with him. And he can feel when she's around and stuff. Kim Porter's soul sitting right there in that cell with him. Right there. He having hot flashes, heat strokes, withdrawals, everything. And he need it. He absolutely do. And there's other people that are perhaps co-conspirators, a mama a co-conspirator, and this nigga got everything to say. Scrappy says just because black people are successful doesn't mean they can do what they what the white people do. All the black women are laughing at the black men that go down. Um, uh -huh. But they say your mama was just like Janice Combs and you decided to pick another route. You've been angry and upset at Mama D because she was a mad dog. Mm -hmm. That's the real issue. Video. All right, so listen. When we get money, right? When black people get money, we don't have a. We're not really free, like they tell us we're free, like the land of the free, blah blah blah. We're not slaves no more, blah blah blah. And they look over, and you got all these wealthy black people. That don't mean shit. That don't mean nothing, cause you know what? Wipe my glasses off. You still can't do what they do. Mm -mm. You still can't do what them white folk do. You, you give a fuck if you're a black man or black woman. Like, and while the white, all the black 
women are laughing at the black men that go down. Like, what you think? They, what you think gonna happen? You think like after they take all the men out, you gonna be safe? <laughs> Come on, man, it's crazy. But look, at the end of the day, all y'all black brothers just laughing at people. Man, we are not like Farrakhan say. We are not subject from the game. Like we have a life to live. If we have the same, um, the devil tempt us the same way he tempted everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And let's prayerfully and hopefully we all stay solid. You know what I'm saying? And we don't go out like that. But I tell you this, black men and black women, we have to use our head just because we get money don't mean we can go do what them white folk do. Them white folk do whatever they want. We see that. Mm -hmm. My video. <laughs> and amen to that. Amen to that. Because it, like, like I said, Scrappy, his mama was a madam. Pimping women. Got men, drug dealers and everything coming in. Graping women. Forced labor. Forced SCX. And Scrappy has had a problem with it. So I would never think that Scrappy would do something similar to what his mother did to affect him at like a ditty party. So you was all... Okay, not strapping. Not strapping. I ain't never heard no gay rumors, no nothing like that about little strapping. And he's pretty handsome. So a lot of women like him. And dealing with his own mama being a madam, just like Janice Combs, I'm pretty sure he's not on a Diddy tape. So we gonna give you a pass. Okay, KK. We definitely gonna give you a pass. I rock with Scrappy. Put a one in the chat if you rock with Scrapping. Absolutely put a one in the chat But I get what he's saying When you got the money And do all of this other stuff You can't do what the white people do Want to hear it What about Jay-Z and Beyonce They feel like they so white and above it Beyonce bleaching her skin Before you even released the album You'd have made all the money Off the album sales From Verizon deals And all of this stuff Verizon been sponsoring Beyonce and Jay-Z Jay-Z the, the blueprint 444 He made all the money Off of that album Off of commercial deals before we even bought into it so rather we bought it or not he made his money so why would he care what we think about his creativity the songs the music that's what beyonce's doing she's lazy like that she's not connected to her audience because it's all commercial deals why why beyonce and jay-z always getting these commercial dollars like they so plugged in with the white world with the nfl and stuff like that and let's be clear I love Lil Wayne, you know, but again, I seen him perform at the Wilton Theater. It won up about 700 people in there. Okay, and one nobody really, you know, we know who he is, but we're not excited to see him. He look a mess, drinking codeine and shit on the stage. Lil Wayne got three dreads and yellow eyes. Who want to see him at the Super Bowl? He going to scare people kids. Okay, at that point. And then on top of it, the reserve and book him this early. We don't know if he going to be here. Every time Lil Wayne perform, we treat him like Stevie Wonder. We don't know if he's going to OD from the codeine and that's going to be the last time we see him or not. Okay? So we don't want to see Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne needs to clean up before he does any NFL Super Bowl experience. It's too late. He should have been did that shit. He should have did that shit 10 years ago is when he should have did the Super Bowl before Jay-Z was there. You think Jay-Z finna put somebody on the Super Bowl and it's not beneficial for him and his business endeavors? You get, I mean, that's just chess and not checkers. But why is Beyonce and Jay-Z always got these exclusive deals, always making all of their money off the top before they even release a product? And then on top of it, they own their products by the time they do it. Smart business, man. But what secrets and what y'all been doing down at the Bohemian Gold, uh, Grove and stuff like that? But, you know, again, like I said, Jay-Z has taken up for R. Kelly. Jay-Z uh, was is tight, close-knit with Diddy. It didn't only take one person, whether that person want to cooperate or not, or maybe a little coercion going on. You don't want Rihanna to cooperate with law enforcement because of what you possibly did to her when she was a little girl, 15 years old. Why is Rihanna in your office until 3 a.m. in the morning at 15 and you threaten to throw her off a balcony if she don't sign a deal? And then we hear Umbrella, Ella, Ella, took a note, got to stick it out to the end. Okay, we sang artists. And there was this little pause. And I was nervous, but then he said, and we're interested. And there's this sudden feel of relief. But then he said something about a window and a door or something. Oh, then he said, <laughs> <laughs> you did a whole lot. Oh, I did a lot of homework on you in place. He said, um, there are two ways to leave here, either through the door 
with the deal sign are through this window, and we're on the 29th floor. Mm -hmm. The diva Rihanna. Mm -hmm. uh, she's from Barbados. Yeah. Did y'all hear what she said? Let me let me go back. So you guys can hear it. Okay. <laughs> you said it will work. I said a lot of work on you in place. <laughs> he said, um, there are two ways to leave here. Either through the door with the deal sign or through this window. And we're on the 29th floor. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds like coercion. That sounds like absolute coercion. I want to see what did you, what did, when you signed that deal, was it it also an NDA attached to that? What happened? Why were you in as Jay Z finna admit? Why were you in an office with these grown men with no parents and nothing in New York City? Your mama one day, your daddy one day, in an office for twelve hours, uh, twelve hours with a fifteen six a fifteen year old girl at the time. By the way, don't even matter fifteen sixteen. But hey, it happened in New York City, right? So we're not going to talk about it if you're Rihanna because it's going to mess up his image. And also, you got your masters. Rihanna got her masters. Why? Because of this particular moment. I mean, it's unfortunate, but in the state of New York, a 14-year-old girl can consent to marry a grown-ass man. So I feel like he coerced her to maintain and say that if he did anything, that it was consensual. And according to state law... If, if Rihanna comes out and people ask her what happened and it's true that he did something with her, she can easily say it's consensual. Why? Because she had, I mean, I mean, uh, maybe not. She owned her masters. There's no way that he can take her masters from her. She ain't putting out no music, so she really ain't worried about his business endeavor and making him money. She got a beauty empire. So I think Rihanna has been moving herself away from Jay-Z for quite some time strategically. You know he's a he's a he's he's really a um he's really creepy like that. Um, Audra English said that he had a nickname for her. And he started calling somebody else that, and, and another artist had it. Jaguar Wright keeps talking about him, even though she only worked with him on Song Cry. He took her off the record, and she mad. But you know he keep on telling Janelle, uh, uh, Victoria Monet, the Jaguar one, Jaguar two, Jaguar three. It's like he's. He's obsessed with her name because of whatever situation that they got going on, which could include, but it's not limiting him just simply hating her or she knows something specifically happened in that moment. Way back then, that's 25 plus years. Now, I'm gonna, not going to sit up here and say Jaguar Wright saying that she was in a car with Naomi Campbell in 2014 or 13 and, and this is what she knew. No, that's a lie. Okay. But anyways, let's play this back. So I don't feel a Relief, so then he said something about a window and a door. Oh, then he said, <laughs> <laughs> he said it will work. Oh, I did a lot of work on you in this place. He said, um, there are two ways to leave here. Either through the door with the deal sign or through this window. Oh, we're on the 29th floor. The mm -hmm. diva Rihanna. Mm -hmm. uh, she's from Barbados? Yeah. Okay. She's Bayesian. Okay, she's Bayesian. How did you come in contact with her? I mean, did you fly over there? No, um, Jay Brown had actually bought me a song. She has a song right now. This is a, a, Jay Brown. a massive because of, <laughs> of Roots. When I first heard the song, and then, you know, he kept going, Jay Brown. He kept being persistent. I was like, you know what, bring her by. Mm -hmm. And when she walked into our office, I was like, you know, she just had, it was just something about her. It was just, she had this, you know, it was just something about her. And then she um, performed the mm -hmm. song, and I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you know, we sat down and we talked, and they were talking about how she would stay in the studio and try to get the verse over, and then come back the next day. I was like, Oh, work ethic, okay. everything is there. So we signed it at night, we didn't let her leave the office really the three in the morning. Yeah, was that's when not that contract right. I signed. So from the meeting around three, four in the afternoon, mm -hmm. we signed it by three in the morning. Wow, that day I was, I was absolutely <laughs> certain. Yeah, that's that's not right. And again, like to think that she's this young girl from Barbados Island. Family is poor. Family is so poor and destitute to the point to where they let their daughter go on a, a fucking jet across into another country. And she's from Barbados. And Jay-Z said, you're going to sign this or you're going to get thrown from the balcony. I feel like that, that that's, it wasn't just that simple. You wasn't so zealous to get her to sign a deal. Or she was just so talented and so forth. Or she was just so X, Y, and Z. Because mind you, 
Rihanna looks just like Tierra Marie. They don't look the same when they photograph it on video, but I've met. I've seen Rihanna in person and I've met Tierra Marie. They look je- they look so much alike in person. Rihanna films and photographs more exotic than Tierra Marie. Okay, that's the only difference. But they look so much alike. And Tierra Marie's mother was pretty much a part of her career because Tierra Marie's mother had her when she was 15. So if you're a 15 year old having a child, and now your livelihood necessarily depends on that child becoming successful. You're not going to let no grown man touch your child at 15 unless you Tokyo Tony, scripting in the same club as your daughter. Tierra Marie mother did not play that. So Rihanna reminded him of a younger, more loose and easier to control Tierra Marie because her parents weren't there. So the coercion of it all is the fact that she's an immigrant. The fact that she's undocumented and it probably came over on a private jet to where customs and TSA didn't even check for her ID. And you're saying, you know, I'm going to throw you off a balcony or you're going to sign this. What did you do in that office for 12 hours? Did she sign an NDA or uh, in addition to a record deal? It, it's, it's given just like, I, I don't know. We love Rihanna. We absolutely do. But, you know, Jay-Z is the ditty to Rihanna that the ditty is to Cassie at some point in time. Well, no, no, we can't say that extensive because, you know, allegedly they've been sleeping around and it's alleged that Jay-Z gave Rihanna the industry STD, which is herpes, and she gave it to Chris Brown and that's why Chris Brown beat it and everybody in the industry got herpes. Uh, allegedly, we know Jay-Z has been at parties with Diddy's. We don't know what's going on. They starting to call him Gay-Z and I do believe it. What type of gangster rapper look like a tall, skinny Light skinned Whippy Goldberg walking around with white multi millionaires that's 10, 20 years older than you. What you done did at them freak out parties? You ain't got no muscle memory. You ain't never hit the gym. They ain't even been in the gym of doing, doing a push up in damn video that he done did. And he done been out here for 30 plus years. Karma will get you. Karma will get you. And if it don't go straight to you, you done did something that you're trying to get away with, it will go to the next generation. And if it don't go to that generation, it's going to come out in your kids' kids. And word on the curb, I don't talk about people's kids, but what I heard, karma probably done got you in your descendants or descendant. I don't know, but all I do know is you're not going to be a devil on these earthly planes doing, doing devil behavior and God not going to let the karma catch up to you. Okay. I done heard of people unalive and people family and they mama, they brother and everybody around them is 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 dying. And then suddenly they in prison because God didn't punish them because they didn't took everything from you and then put you in prison and made you want to unalive yourself and stuff like that. Karma going to get everybody. Nicki Minaj, you know, love Nicki Minaj. She blasted Jay-Z over two hundred and ninety seven million dollar title deal. Seemingly calls Diddy his BFF uh, because Nicki pretty much. Did promo and promoted title um, just as much as Jay-Z and Beyonce. And I will say that I wouldn't have have joined title if it wasn't for Beyonce and Nicki Minaj. So he basically pimped them, offered Nicki Minaj a million dollars to turn around and sell it for two 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 hundred and ninety seven million. So it's a lot of greed. So for a lot of people to sit up here and feel like celebrities be ripping people off, they be ripping each other off, too. OK, Nicki. Tweeted, worried about the tea of a 15-year-old child who was railroaded, but no comments on the tea and baby oil that's been going on for decades and as recent as months ago. If 15-year-olds need to be held accountable and told they can't ever move past their past, then what about the 30-year-old who groomed and groomed, sat by and was silent, etc.? All right, let's keep the blogs focused on Onika. Short and stout, it don't want to talk about him, friends, them. Uh, laugh out loud okay so uh this right here she's referring to her situation with kevin petty and how people continue to bring that up and also some people speculated that she was talking about a 15 year old rihanna and just you know throwing a backhand shot and she said i received a call advising title was sold and they made no money on the deal so all they could offer me was a million dollars but wait there's more the lawyer advised that Desiree advised him that I had to sign the agreement in 24 hours if I wanted the one million or the offer was off the table. And then on fraction, she says, listen to fractions. The last bar on fraction is uh somebody sit back while I kind of mill, jiggle what jiggle who. So basically, she was basically saying 
that the math was not mathing up in fractions and she didn't sign a deal. And this right here is important for us to correlate that with the type of deals that Jay-Z is used to making and enforcing to keep people silent. She basically said that Jay-Z was going to give her money, a million dollars, to sign the deal and, and, and to keep quiet about the sale of title. So, and that came as part of a hush money scheme. So... I'm willing to bet that a part of Jay Z's making enforcements of contracts because let's 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 keep it a being. You can really make and enforce any contract that you do. If people sign it, they sign it. You go to court and litigate it. I'm willing to bet there's clauses that says that you cannot speak out about the making and enforcement of this particular contract or else because if Nikki would have signed it within 24, you got 24 hours to sign it in a million dollars or it's off the table. That means it came with, let's be quiet, don't mention this, yada, yada, yada. Rihanna signed the deal. We we did not know that Rihanna was going to become this big, huge star. She had Ponda Replay out. Tierra Marie was still with Rock Nation. Ciara was the new it girl at the time. And, you know, we know that Rihanna came up and just blew past her. But she, you know... So I'm 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 willing to bet that there's something in that contract that said that the making and enforcement and all of this other stuff is not gonna happen. Rihanna's the only artist in the game that remains to be an elite that has not and refuses to drop music as often as she did. She did eight albums back to back, the slave contract, the eight album deal, and she was like, F all of this. I'm for, not only am I finna get my masters because what you did to me allegedly. But I'm going to go in a different direction. Every day a new man pushing 60 years of age gets finger in the pussy they made to come to the internet and lie. Wow, 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 wow. Why does everything have to revolve around SEX? That's the crazy part about it, okay? So she's going hard at Jay-Z. Now, I was looking at this Twitter account right here. And this particular Twitter account tweeted out that Jay-Z... Um, look, Sean Combs, good friend. Corey Gamble is Chris Jenner's boyfriend. He's also a fixer. Sometimes the fixers, sometimes the fixes are pleasant and sometimes they are not. That is him with Harvey Weinstein and Justin Bieber and Kim Porter. And at the unalignment scene of Kim Porter, Kim prior to the corner arriving. Wow. So they're, they've always said that Corey Gamble has been a fixer and a part of the problem going around in Hollywood. Um, they also say that he's gay. He do look, you know, whatever, and that he's a plant. And he was planted into that particular. This is him with Kim Porter. Obviously, he's been around. This is him and Justin Bieber managing. And again, if you guys watch Blink twice, you would understand what it means to like have a handler. Um, people go through psychological in, in the movie Blink twice. That is the character. Frida went through psychological trauma time and time again, multiple times or multiple instances and multiple parties. And, you know, they was using potions and different spells or whatever else to kind of make her forget exactly what happened, which included, but is not limited to S.A. trauma, um, a beatings, unalivement that she witnessed and people would seem to forget it. And, 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 and the thing about it is, and and I think this lady right here, Sarah Ferguson, I think she's in, well, at least she looks like the lady. Um, anyways, Sarah Ferguson, they I think that they casted a lady in Blink twice to look just like her to kind of signify that she herself is a fixer as well. So she took her own daughter to a Diddy party um, for whatever reason. But, you know, it's all about the indoctrination and. Um, I'm going to go here. I'm going to forget what happened and I want to forget. I don't want to remember such and such. So y'all need to look at that movie blank twice. So when I think about P Diddy, you know, graping people and MDM graping drugs and stuff, it's like to me and to the average person, they think that this person just passed out. It was totally, um, incoherent, incoherent. There's a, there's a, um, there's a substance in Columbia called, scoliopia or something like that it comes from this tree called they call it the the devil's angel or the devil's apple or something like that down in Colombia. and they take the seeds from this plant and grind it up and they blow it in people's face and that person essentially becomes subservient to whatever commandment and thing that you do so they could have something like that because remember this pink tusi came from across seas it came from south america london 
in, in South America, Scoli, Sco, Scoliopis or something. I'm going to do a whole video about it because I'm thinking that uh, people that are at these events, they are under the influence and under the control of this Colombian substance that you cannot trace in the blood. So if somebody tests for it, it's going to seem like you didn't have anything. But once people get it in their system, somebody tell you to go jump off a bridge, you're going to go do it. Somebody tell you to take that, take that, take that. You're going to do it. And so if Diddy is using a substance of that sort, let me, matter of fact, because I, I know y'all think I'm going crazy. Let me um, show you a video about it. Okay. So pink, I don't think the pink cocaine is the only thing because uh, ketamine makes you not feel pain. Cocaine gives you confidence in Viagra, which are all three ingredients in the pink cocaine. It keeps you rock hard. What makes these people not remember, but at the same time, look and feel complicit um, while these things are happening? Because if Diddy have all of these freak out tapes and people are claiming that they did not participate in it or they don't know what happened and they was not consensual.